As y'all can see, I uh, got too anxious and wanted to put the headers on to see if they fit and not interfere with the transmission. But everything's fitting pretty good. I'll show y'all what I had to do on the passenger side to get it fit. fit. But the driver's side fit no problem. I don't think I had to cut anything, if I remember correctly. But it bolted right up, no problem. It's plenty of clearance. I don't know if y'all can if y'all want to take a look at it right there. Y'all can see it's pretty far away from the frame. From anything major. And I got the O2 sensors uh plumbed up in there just to see if they interfere with anything. But these are, I ain't got the gaskets on here. I'm just putting them up there just for just fitting them right now. And on this side it fit perfect, except not so perfect. Let me see. Try to make this quick, I'm because I'm not I'm gonna try not to drag on the videos, but yeah. I went ham sandwich on the uh header right there. So so we could clear the frame. So I think that's not gonna be a problem. Except for this side, as you can see. Let me see. Too close here. It looks seems like it's see where the uh Scratch is right in here. I don't know if you can see that. See how much space right up in there from here down here. About a couple sheets of paper worth, but it's it's not touching, but I don't know if you can see it from there. Right on this pipe to this uh control arm support. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably I ain't gonna do it right. Well, I might do it right now. Take it back off, beat it up a little bit, and see how we're doing. And O2 sensors don't interfere with anything. At least I don't think so, especially for the driver's side, except for the linkage. Hopefully that ain't in the way. We'll find out once I get that fixed up. So that's about it. So I figured I'd let y'all know about that. So I'm getting, uh, what do you, how you call it? My uh, my feelings are happy. That's all I can say. My feelings are happy. I got happy feelings. Cause everything's going pretty good. And uh, like I said, I'll I'll PC in the uh, yoke. What's going on with the yoke from the 700 R4? And everything else is pretty good. And uh, clearance on the old pan, right there. As I showed in the previous videos, it didn't change at all like a little over a uh, half an inch so I don't think that's gonna be a problem I'll just keep my eye on it <clears throat> but other than that everything's pretty good so I'm gonna cut this short and piece some other videos so I don't bore y'all too much and just cut to the chase all right y'all y'all take it easy